How's it going? We are at Capella and it's on a little island called Santosa. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, we I almost think we died. Ate too much. We <sighs> ate too much that day, I'm sorry, sir. Well, actually, I think it's my fault, especially since we're leaning over this way. We're about to go get a four hour spa experience, which I'm super excited about. What's happening in the spa experience? They're giving you like some like cleansing detox thing, and then you're Need gonna that. get a nice healthy meal, so food's Need involved. That. It's also really pretty, so you'll get like nice visuals. I'm excited about all the pretty, good food. Healthy vegetables. Healthy. Oh my god, do you know what a vegetable is? Dude, I don't know. I don't remember. Do you remember what life was before saute? Because I don't. <laughs> no such thing. We're in Singapore right now, and it's it's been really awesome. I did not realize there was a separate little island here. Um, oh, okay, okay, we're doing it. We're making it happen. This hotel is so beautiful. We just walked around and like took a bunch of photos around the property. Actually, right there to be exact, right up there. And I noticed that there was a giant space, and I was like, hmm, hmm. this would be great for like a, a yoga class or something. What's up, Capella? Talking to you, Capella. Okay, on this buggy ride. Oh, this is like Universal Studios. Kind of feel like I'm on a roller coaster. You know how I always wanted to go to Magic Mountain? Oh wait, look, there's straws. What? <laughs> I'm funny. Debatable. Do you even vlog, bro? Oh my God, Hi. vlog inception. It's crazy. Uh oh. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. He was not thrilled. Okay, check this out. Little pool area. Love it. There's another pool below that, which I'm super excited about. Here's the food area. I missed breakfast, but you know, since I do that, intermittent fasting is not ideal for getting to experience all the different places, but at the same time, you know, I do have to take care of myself and I do like to enjoy eating all the foods. I'm just gonna pick my battles and do it on nighttime. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Spa time. Ready? Ready? A little bit of B-roll. Delicious. Mm. Starting off with a little bit of tea. Did a little assessment. And now, the spa facilities. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready. Everybody, welcome to Olympia Spa. Uh, today you have a long treatment. Totally four hours. A detox day we will start from the Scrub, use awesome. a six week scrub. You will find your skin totally reborn like a baby skin. Oh, I got that's, that's what I want. Continue uh, with the six week rub. Is it alright to touch your hair? Yes, please. That's, that's, okay. Can you fix it while you're at it? That would be great. You want a super strong pressure. Strong and <laughs> more strong. Yeah. <laughs> super strong. So that means I will do my best. Cry a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I won't tell anybody you cry. <laughs> okay. It's on camera. Big things and facial. Yes. Oh yeah, I gotta get his tea zone. I've watched friends know all about the way the tea zone. This treatment combined with us, the supplement and tincture is a big talk capsule mm -hmm. and the liver kidney drops. It's very good for digestion and uh, circulation. Your supplements on? You know I'm all about those supplements. Yeah, he is. Should I get, like, naked naked? Touch the pie. Oh, look, it comes in a... Do you I feel the material of this? Can you hear? It's a bandeau. Like this. For your junk? Bandeau for my junk. <laughs> Guys, you can see the silhouette. This is just for you ladies. He's gonna have to strip again, ladies. And gentlemen. That was good. Maybe I should do 
soft porn. Do you want to do an intro? Are you filming me? This is not that kind of Instagram page. It is for me. How do you think I get all my followers? <laughs> this has to go on the BTF. Dude, it's going on my main account. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. And now they tuck Hiro into bed. They put up the monsters. I feel like a little taquito. You look like a little burrito. A taquito. Like, you look like a little sushi roll. A little sushi burrito. A little sushi burrito. It's a healthy meal after, not a sushi burrito. Bye. bye. Have fun. We'll talk to you in four hours, okay? Okay, bye. 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 A few minutes later. Oh, you had a pretty good day, I'd say. Today was fantastic. Yeah. It was like a four hour spa day. Three of those hours was either some sort of scrub, a massage or something. And then the last hour was a facial, which I've never gotten before. And that was really cool. During that massage, I, I kind of realized, especially on all these travels, we're switching hotels every two to three days. And there, it's been amazing to work with all these hotels. We're going to a different country every weekend. We've been teaching workshops every weekend. A lot of times, and this isn't specific to like traveling, especially when I was working in the hospital or even working in a restaurant as a busboy. When you take a second and just pause, that's when you start to feel just how tired you are. I really started to feel it today. Not that it was like a bad thing or a negative thing. I was just like, oh wow, like I'm actually pretty exhausted and I really absolutely needed this self care and I was super grateful to have this experience. It was amazing. I definitely need to have it more often, that's for sure. One thing that I do do, do do. One thing that I do because, you know, I, I am a little bit older, so I've been through this process of like getting burnt out and then starting up again and then getting burnt out and starting up again. In that process, in that trial and error process, I've been trying to figure out different ways for sustaining myself. What I've found to work the most so far is and the reason why I'm talking about this is because, look, it's a great idea to be able to take a yoga class every day after work. And sometimes that's not an option. Sometimes it's not an option to get a 30 minute meditation in the beginning of the day. Sometimes it's five minutes, especially on all these travels. It's really important to manage your energy, manage my energy. The way that I've been doing it is running into the bathroom, like right before the workshop starts, going into a stall. It, Sounds gross, but like just taking even just three minutes to breathe and it could be five breaths. And I talk about this in my yoga classes where five breaths can be the difference between a good and bad day. Just taking a moment, preferably not a public bathroom stall, but look, I mean, if that's all you got, you make it work. Just taking some time for some, some quiet so that you can realign, but but getting really purposeful about that quiet time, right? Like you're not just trying to find stillness, find presence. Like if you have something big going on, taking a second to realign with why you're there, taking a second to realign with the bigger picture is gonna be so useful. Even if it's just for five breaths, it'll set your mind right. Like even if you're afraid and you're about to speak in front of 60 people or teach for like six hours or whatever the case may be, you're about to go in for a 12 hour shift, realign with why you're there. And that can make a huge difference on your day. Those are like a couple things that I started to think about during, during my little flower spa. The fact that the concept of self care looking a little different and the reason why I'm bringing this up is this came up during my workshops. I'm starting to get the sense that we as people get really caught up on the externals, like relying on the externals in order to find stillness and in order to find peace within. What that looks like is we rely on our morning coffee routine. We rely on our bed being a certain way, our clothes, wearing the same clothes or having our breakfast. And the reality is for me, I want to be able to function regardless, regardless of whether I'm in this hotel, that hotel, my bed at home, which I spent a lot of money on and I really love my bed. Like, can you be grounded throughout all that? 
can you be grounded in a different time zone instead of using jet lag as an excuse? That's what I want to do. I thought I'd share that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So if you want to leave a comment, that'd be great. It's just something that when I shifted this way of thinking, it really, really did put into perspective this concept of being grounded in myself doesn't rely on the things around me, right? Or or what my routine looks like. Or a lot of times like I don't get to practice a whole yoga class. And, and sometimes that looks like a 10 minute session at the gym where I'm working on like joint strengthening. Or maybe I do get a little bit of a stretch, but it's while I'm editing photos at two in the morning. You know, I don't know. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know.